So let's go into the last level here, and that's the clinical try-in. And what you're looking at here on the left is a raw try-in. In other words, the, the teeth and the gingiva have not been um, the same color because it's a monolithic, and it's going to be printed or, or milled. Traditionally, typically it's going to be printed because it's going to be cheaper and no reason not to. So let's say it's printed and, the, and obviously the wax try-in is what you're traditionally used to looking at. <clears throat> and I know I always kind of laugh at when I you know, present this in dental schools to uh, dental students. It's a no-brainer. Uh, does a student want to pick up a wax spatula or does a student want to pick up a mouse? And you know the answer to that. Uh, dental students are, are very quick study to this technology because they have no baggage of previous learning. So, um, but we could make this uh, this monolithic uh, denture, try and denture look a little better by adding some pink wax or some uh, triad material just to show some degree of distinction between the teeth and the denture base. And 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 at, at Row Dental Lab, they'll have some suggestions for you to <clears throat> make the uh, try in a little bit prettier. Uh, with the printed versions, you might even be able to get shaded shaded uh, teeth to a certain degree. But that's that's you know what you'll work out with the laboratory. But that's but it's but again, it's a monolithic try-in, and all roads lead to the same try-in. So whether it's the wax rim bite, whether it's the impressions in the denture, or copy denture, or whatever, or, or the directed try-in, they all lead to the same, and that's going to be the monolithic. Um, uh, resin try-in uh, procedure. So again, we're going to use our, our same criteria here, and we're going to look at the try-in in three phases, basically. So patient presents, we try them in, you test it for fit. And these try-in bases will be an exact replication of the fit that you can expect in the final denture. When we do a traditional try-in, it's really not a try-in, and you know that because the bases never fit like the final bases because they've been blocked out and the, there's distortion of those temporary base materials and et cetera. When here, when you're trying this in, these digital try-ins, you are trying in your final denture. So don't expect it to get any better that when, when you go to the final denture, in other words, this is the way it's going to fit. So you have the opportunity to do an accurate assessment of fit and to make changes if necessary. So let's go, um, you know, let me just check the time here. I'm running a little further than I wanted. Um, so, the, so the fit is, we want to look at, we want to then resort to evaluation. In other words, if the fit is not where you want it, you've got to take an impression. So then we jump to the next stage, then that's evaluation. Same thing. Look at the midline, look at the incisal length, look at the uh, mandibular incisal length, look at the support of the lip, and you know all the things, all the same criteria. Take a look at and figure out uh, how to communicate uh, either on this chart or I'll give you in the tip section a couple of suggestions. And then take a bite. Now, if the fit is good, there's no reason to take impressions, but you may not have a good, I'm sorry, if it is good, but the bite is off, we take a bite, just a bite alone. If the bite, if it is not good, we take impressions, and, and obviously we take a bite registration. So it's going to be one of these two choices. So this is going to be your typical resin try-in appointment. A couple of quick tips. Uh, what I like about these, um, we could grind the lower posteriors to make room for the impression materials. We could do anything you want with these. These are just temporary try and basis that we could manipulate. Uh, we could um, mark them and uh, with, uh, in this case, a magic marker to uh, kind of give you a communication to the laboratory. I want these teeth shortened and yada, yada. Or I could grind them like I did on the patient, on the same patient on the right. Um, I marked it first and I, I literally ground the teeth off to where I think it would be more, um, that's my method of communicating to the laboratory where I want my changes to be. So, so it's there's a multitude of ways to make these um, communications is what I'm trying to get at. 
Um, and also, again, if you got the finicky patient or the discerning patient, they're the difficult patient or the you know, patient who really needs a little more time, let them take them home. It's going to save you a remake, probably, and uh, if they're not satisfied. So let them take them home. Now, let's say you had to make a lot of changes. What should I do? Do another try-in. And you got a very challenging patient, maybe you got to do multiple try-ins. Um, charge for it, I think. But certainly, the, why go to the final denture until you're you're confident that you could achieve all that the patient is asking for. So multiple trials might be uh, 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 an opportunity for you.